Okay, here we are solving quadratic equations again. This time I'm going to be using my GDC. I'm going to use the same examples that I've done previously. And so if I consider this x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0, I'm going to go to my equations. Now there's a couple ways that I can do this. Okay, and I'm going to put this into y1. So I get x squared minus x minus 6. And you should be doing this with your calculator while we do this here. And I'm going to graph it. Okay, and so the solution to the equation is simply these x-intercepts. Because what we're saying is that we're saying that y1 equals this equation. Well, we said that y1 equals 0. We want this to be equal 0. That happens on the intercepts. To do that, we're going to use the calculate menu again, which is, you, this menu here is one of the most common menus you'll be using with your calculator. So I go second calculate, and I'm going to do what's called a zero, because my y is zero. And now, you have to read the calculator. It's saying left bound. Well, if we're going to find this point first, I want the left bound to be to the left of this point. Well, that point looks to be about three. And I know that already from the answer. So I'm going to make my left bound, let's make it 1. I could have made it 2. And you'll notice that there's an arrow up here. This arrow says all the answers on this side. And let me pull this down here. It means all the answers on this, the answer we're looking for is specifically over in this region that way. All right, so now when I go back to my calculator, it's asking me for the right bound now. So I know it's about 3, so I'm going to pick a number to the right of 3, and I'm going to say, I don't know, 4.5 for no good reason. And my guess is going to tell it, well, I think it's going to be, let's say it's going to be, I don't know, 4. And now it tells me what my answer actually is. Okay, and so I have to go through the steps Oh, let me do undo that. I have to go through the steps of left bound, right bound. Then I, now, I only got one of my answers up here, which is 3. Right? So let me do it a second time. Let me do it again. So here's my one answer, 3. Now I have to do it again for the second one. I have to do it twice. So I'm going to go second, calculate. I want a 0, which is number 2. My left bound, well, I'm going to go for this point this time, so I want to be to the left of negative 2. So let's say, I don't know, uh, negative 5, enter. It asks me for the right bound. See, here's my arrow again, saying this way. The right bound, it's, let's say, 0. So here's my other arrow. It's saying the answer is between these two values. Look here, calculator. Now I have to start the algorithm going the calculator. Let's just say negative 3. I could say negative 2 since I know that's the actual answer. And there is my other 0. And that's using my calculator to do it. So the key is go to your calculate menu, 0, and you want left bound and right bound and be in between. And that is how you do it with factoring. Now, as you go through this, eventually we're going to get equations like this. And we're going to do the same kind of thing. We're going to move everything to one side of the equation, set it equal to zero, and then find where it crosses the x-axis.